Okay, we're going to do 15 great IB style multiple choice questions on magnetic fields. The questions were so chosen because they reflect common content on IB exams or because of their instructional value. Question four, pause the video, try the question, come back for the answer. So when we're using the hand rule to determine the direction of the force due to a, a current and a magnetic field, there's always a certain direction for the current, a certain direction for the magnetic field. And those two form a plane. Whenever you've got two vectors, they form a plane. So we might have, say, B going this way and I going this way, but we'd always get a plane. What's kind of critical is the force is always perpendicular to that plane. So we've really narrowed down the direction of the force down to two options. It could either be perpendicular to the plane on one side of the plane or perpendicular to the plane on the other side of the plane. Same thing in this instance. It could either be perpendicular to that plane on one side or perpendicular to the plane on the other side. And that's what our hand rule is really about, determining which side of the plane the force is going to lie on. Now, of course, with your hands, you can only curl your fingers in one direction. You can only curl them towards the palm. So if I choose my right hand and I start with my fingers in the direction of I, then I have to curl them towards B. So we always start at I and we curl towards B. So you want your palm to be in the direction of B, which is going to be kind of like that. If you do that with your right hand, you're going to find that your thumb kind of points upwards like so. And what that means is you want to choose that force that's above the plane and not choose the one that's below the plane. Same thing here. We want to curl our fingers from I to B. So if I start with my fingers pointing in the direction of I, and I get my palm in the direction of B, be kind of like that direction, so that I can curl my fingers towards B. You'll find that the thumb points kind of downwards, and that would be the direction of the force. So in this case, you want to choose the force that's below the plane and not the force that's above the plane. So the best answer for this question is A, to determine which side of the plane formed by the current direction and magnetic field direction the force will lie. And that's all for today, folks. Thank you very much. Question three, pause the video, try the question, come back for the answer. So the magnetic field of a solenoid is very much like that of a bar magnet. It has the same basic shape. To identify the North Pole and the South Pole, we need to use a hand rule. So we use our right hand, the B field would point in this direction, because the current, these are my fingers coming down, the current is circling around this way. It's going around this way, around the outside of that solenoid. So our hand rule, our hand should be like this, using the right hand. And whatever direction the thumb points in, that's going to be like the north pole of the solenoid. So this would be our north pole. This would be our south pole. And we get these lines looping around from the North Pole to the South Pole, something like that. And we get a uniform field inside the solenoid. So I'd, I'd like to have parallel, equally spaced lines there.
and I'll put one right up the center here and then we'd continue going up this side. So along that central axis the field line is going to go towards that south pole and out of that north pole which means our compass needle here it's going to point in the direction of the field lines and so the correct answer would be A.